Hello everyone, I'm Amanda, your Customer Success Manager at Fiari Networks. I'm here to provide helpful tips, tricks, and educational content about FOND and fiber network planning. If you're enjoying these videos, be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. You can also follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube for the latest insights. In our latest video, we covered the essentials of Financial Planner, including key details and values needed to create your report. I recommend watching it before we move on to the cost analysis. Picking up where we left off from our last video, we've now generated our report. The first screen you'll encounter is the report overview page. However, before reviewing the overview, we'll navigate to the cost page on the left-hand panel. On the cost page, you'll find key metrics displayed at the top, along with a pie chart, a map, and a breakdown of costed items from your bill of materials. At the top of the cost page, you'll see a series of key metrics. Starting from the left, these include the total construction cost, which encompasses all expenses related to entering and operating in a market, such as material and labor costs. This metric gives you a good idea of the total investment required. Next, you'll see the average cost per linear foot, calculated by dividing the total construction cost by the total linear feet found in the design. Next, you'll see the average cost per linear foot, which is calculated by dividing the total construction cost by the total linear feet found in the design. Following these, there are values representing the cost range of expected costs per passing. This begins with the average cost per passing, followed by the lowest and highest cost passings. These figures are based on shared costs, which include both individual and shared equipment expenses. This ensures that each design element's cost is distributed fairly among the addresses served by it. Below these metrics, a heat map displays the costs associated with the addresses in your design. If you identify areas on the map that are more expensive than others, this may suggest regions that should be deprioritized within your network. To exclude these higher cost addresses from your overall calculations, you can adjust the cost bandwidths by sliding the line to your preferred cost range. As you make these adjustments, the cost breakdown will be updated in real time, providing an interactive tool for cost analysis. If you've categorized the items in your bill of materials into groups such as labor, materials, or other categories, these costs will be segmented accordingly in the cost breakdown. Selecting a specific cost category will give you a more detailed view of how and where those costs are being allocated, so you can better understand the cost drivers in your project. The final section of the cost page presents the line items from your bill of materials in a table format, providing a detailed cost breakdown. These details form the basis of your analysis. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll break down the components of the revenue analysis page of your financial report. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions or are ready to see a fond demo, submit the form below and a member of our team will contact you soon.